Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Rainbow Runner, and we're back in Pokemon White. Now, last time we did catch the legendary Pokemon Terrakian inside Victory Road, but now we are outside the Pokemon League. We are about ready to get things going for our Elite Four Challenge. Now, before we get started, I might think I should show us the team. Um, I've trained everybody up to level 50 and given each a hold item, so let's review everything. We have Tramp, the stout one, the second member of the team. Um, he has Intimidate for its ability, which is complemented well given its impish nature, which which boosts its defense but lowers its special attack. I mean, its special attack isn't helping it that much. Um, I have the Silk Scarf up for its ability. Its moves set are Return, Ice Fang, Crunch, and Thunder Fang. I decided to teach Thunder Fang by, as well by going to the move to relearner in the Stralton, um, and I got rid of strength because I simply, I don't need it at the moment, and return will hit much harder given how my friendship sh should be maxed out at this point. Its maximum power is 102. Yeah, and, and I'm sure, I think there are some strength puzzles in the post game, but I, well, I can switch my moves <coughs> around if needed, and I can always reteach return at any time, given how teams are unlimited. But anyways, next up we have Lava Bowl, the Darmanitan. Facade, Hammer Arm, Fire Punch, and Flare Blitz. And I gave it a Shell Bell, and this thing hits, is gonna hit hard, even though it does have, even though its attack is hindered a little bit by its, its um, calm nature, which instead boosts up its special defense. But I think it still can. Uh, it's been a very valuable member of the team. Jack Samurott Jack, <laughs> our starter Pokemon, Mystic Water. Um, Bashful Nature is a pretty neutral name, though it does have a little bit more attack than Special Attack. It does have Warp Torrent, but I do have actually three of uh, physical moves: Mega Horn, Waterfall, and Aqua Jet. And of course, I do also have Surf for a bit of variety. Next up, we have. I leaned the Electros. I gave it the Magnet. It does have Crunch, Dragon Claw, Thunderbolt, and Bolt Switch. Um, it has m a much higher attack, but I gave it some... But I do have a mix of both special and physical attacks. Um, it should come in plenty of handy with Levitate. Um, Excadrill, Terra. Um, we have Soft Sand, Ground Steel type. It has a Naughty Nature, which will boost up its attack that lowered special death. I think it's a very good ability. Sand Rush, I don't think it's going to be that useful since I don't have a Sand Storm on my team. Brick Break, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Toxic. I think, I'm sure Toxic will probably come in handy. And then Stanford, the Sigilith. Um, it has um, Magic Guard Force ability, so it'll only take damage from attacks. Um, a Timid Nature, which will boost up its speed, but lower its attack, but I think that's a pretty good... Um, Air Slash, Thunder Wave, Fly, and Psychic. And I gave it the Sharpie to boost up its its flying type moves. Thunder Wave, I'm pretty sure, will come in handy at some point during this Elite Four run. Anyways, I also took the liberty of stocking up on a bunch of items. Um, definitely do so. Um, you never know what might happen. But now that I gave you an overview of my team and its move set, I think it's about time we get the show on the road. The Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. You just have to beat the Elite Four and the Champion. You can start the challenge by battling any of the Elite Four, and if you defeat them all, you can challenge the Champion. However, I warn you, once you start your challenge, there's no turning back. You must keep battling until you, de the, until you defeat them all or, or defeat yourselves. Do you want to go in? No better choice than to say yes, since I'm well prepared. Let's do this. Then proceed! Alright. Alright, no turning back now. <coughs> Check out the statue in the mill. Words are engraved on the statue. Four great warriors form this Pokemon Lake. To the southwest is the one who does not fear the ghost type. To the southeast is the one who channels the power of the fighting type. To the northwest is the one who has mastered the dark type. To the northeast is the one who knows the mind of the psychic type. If you can defeat these warriors with your courage and wisdom, you shall be led to the summit. 
where the strongest champion awaits. Yeah, so we got to defeat all four of them, but this is really cool how Black and White introduced the concept of you could, of being able to fight the Elite Four in any order that you wish. Um, but I think I'm actually going to start start the fight with with Terra. Um, I think I'm going to go to the the southwest room for this first to start things off. And there, there are very unique animations for um, going up to the rooms where each of the Elite Four are located. Anyways, we are whisked up here, and we have Chantel, the first member of the Elite Four. So, let's talk to her and get things started. Eyes brimming the, with dark flame, this man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. That's part of a novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here, and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four's ghost-type user, Chantel. Oh. And I shall be your opponent. Let's do this! David versus Chantel. Not the first ghost-type user in the Elite Four. But anyway, she's going to open the fight with Kafa Grigas. Copper Grigas is very good at um, just walling, so I having lots of HP, but I think I'm going to start with Toxic. Oh, and Will Wisp missed! Yes! I think beginnings are important, whether in the good or in battle. Um, wow. So, I guess that's why they call it Willow Miss. Let's go for the Earthquake! Oh! Oh, I am... Is that enough? No! One health. Okay, you're gonna heal for sure, so let's go for Toxic again. Wow, and I missed with... She missed with Will-O-Wisp again. Um, you know what? Let's go for the Earthquake again. It is my strongest attack. Um, finally hit with the Will-O-Wisp, unfortunately. You know what? Let's go for the Rock Slide. Another full restore. Yeah, unfortunately, my attack's going to be lowered, but... You know what? I better. You know what? Let's toxic and get use toxic again. Um. Okay. I think I might actually switch out. I'm gonna predict her using shadow ball. Got Intimidate, uh, I think, although, yes, that was a good switch right there. All right, let's go for the crunch. Oh, a defense drop. Well, okay, yeah, it's going for Psychic, but thankfully Intimidate already took a fat, so Monly isn't going to do all that much. Okay, Ice Thing. Wow, it just still likes to barely hang on. But at least I got the full restores out of the way. Go work. Um, I'm going to switch out for this. Let's go to Jack. Uh, let's just go for the surf. Yeah, this thing can hit pretty hard, but... Jellicent, um... Let's go for Eileen! Yeah, um... This thing does have Cursed Body for its ability, so... Um... 
Um, as you can see, my moves, um, I can, I do have a variety to take care of it, but if needed, I can bolt switch out of there. So, um, you know what? Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Oh, curse body. I'm actually surprised I was faster. Well, okay, I guess I did train up a bit more, but... Yeah, but Jellicent goes down right there. Chandelure. Um, do I want to stay in? You want? You want? I'm gonna stay in. This thing does have. It seems this is the game my final chapter. This thing does have flame body, or no, flash fire for its ability. Um, so, or actually maybe it is flame body. I, I don't remember. But you want? Let's go for the crunch. Oh, fire blast! It was faster. Ah, oh, dang. We didn't even get to use Crunch. Um, let's... You know, let's go to Jack. Uh, let's just go for the Surf. Oh, you're faster. Oh, crap. You did a lot more than I thought I would. Even resisted. Or actually, wait. Oh! One up. I feel like we're about to turn the page to the epilogue of this story. Aqua Jet. Okay. At least they already she already used her full restore, so yeah. Flame body, you burn me. Okay, that doesn't matter. I've won, and that's gonna get Jack up to level 51. Not bad. Wow, I'm dumbstruck. I know a lot of words, but right now I can't figure out what how to say it. Perhaps if uh, I feeling like and uh, and I'm not scrolling at, at voluntarily it scrolled automatically and she spoke a lot but yeah not a bad battle sorry first I must apologize to my Pokemon I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me oh it's not your fault this is how battles always are even in the life that I'm still one of the elite four every person who works with Pokemon has this Pokemon story to tell I found that stories where people and Pokemon help each other out are far more interesting than stories about only people or only Pokemon. Very deep. But we've now defeated one of the, well, the one of the members of the Hoenn Elite, or not Hoenn, Unova Elite Four. Now we have three more to go, but I think we're going to save that for next time. Thanks for watching, and Rainbow Runner will be delivering more content very soon. Heading out.